All right, so here we are in Morthal, and exactly what I wanted to happen has happened. I am. I am the true dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. The true dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. Oh, I don't think so. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear it, Stormcloaks. Don't. Or. Him. Guys, don't leave. I need you. Alright. I wanted them to appear here because there are so many guards gathered right there. I don't know why they'd be stupid enough to attack me. But hey, it's the best place to go afterwards. And now they're just gonna get their asses kicked. So, let's get some conjuration levels out of it again. Uh, that one seems to be giving me a tough time. But I think all the other guards have the other one handled, so as soon as that one's done, this one's just gonna die. Yep, look at all of them over here. Hey! Hey, is that my staff? Did you take that staff off that corpse, sir? How did you get a staff? Motherfucker stole my loot. Alright, and there's the orders just saying, hey, kill him. And it's like, hey, is that necessary? I'll take that just because it's unique and different. Alright, let's see how this one's going over here. Alright. Yeah. This was a mistake, wasn't it, Cultus? Should have never done that. Little poison recipe. I guess that fits. And again, just taking what I can. Approaches with his weapon drawn. We just killed two cultists. What do you want me to just stand there with my bare hands? Alright, come on guys. Let's continue forward. Free death bell. Always good. And hopefully I don't run into too much trouble along the way. Let's get rid of that. I don't need to see that. I'm not going to focus on that for a while. I actually don't know what level I'm going to go over to the island. You can get some good stuff, but I don't actually want to fight Mirak until I'm level 60. Just because that's when you can get his loot at the best possible level. But there are some stuffs like Dragon Aspect that would be really good to have for this character. So I'll see, if I hit 60 pretty fast, maybe I'll go over there and deal with that. But do I want to kill Alduin before doing that? I don't know. I really don't. I'm kind of just seeing where this goes. So there's no real way to tell. At least no, I want to do a bit of everything and do all the optional bosses that are extremely difficult like the Ebony Warrior. And we finally made it, so let's deal with these pesky people outside because if you forget about them or just leave them, then they will ambush you as soon as you come out and that's annoying because I don't want to deal with them. Hey, Conjurer, I want you, or Necromancer. Yeah, can't touch this now that I can move quickly. And now he's spinning like a top. Yep, still on legendary difficulty. Just making sure, because usually this gives me a lot of trouble. Hey, hey, you're supposed to be focusing on the Atronach. Stop paying attention to me. Go back to being paralyzed. And die to the cold. Nice. Is that it? I don't know if he was summoned when he was attacking me, like if he was a thrall or something. But he's not here anymore and that's all that matters. Is there a little camp where they were? Doesn't really seem to be anything good over here. I don't know what my Atronach is doing stomping around over there, but hey, let him live. Well, where the fuck is my follower? What's she doing? I really hope she doesn't try to leave me, because the beginning of this can be a bitch. No, not there, the barrel. Skuma, 
Stupid drug addicts. Hey, look who showed up. And let's go inside. Alright, I've died here a many, many, many times on Legendary Difficulty. And I miss. Great. Great start to what might be a really tedious challenge. As you just heard, they summon things themselves, and... Yeah, it's Legendary, so I have to hope mine kinda takes them. I wanna get rid of the Adept one as fast as I can. And have her not sit in the back with arrows. But I gave her some better stuff, so maybe she'll manage. There's the Adept one. Come on, I need you to just die. Real quick. An 87, that's pretty good. There we go. Alright, now I gotta look for the Apprentice one. Not after looting, of course. And there's just the Bandit. What's this one? Yeah, Apprentice. And Miss. Perfect. Nice. Alright, that's two. Where's the Novice? Did I just rip that guy's heart out? They're done fighting, so I guess the Novice is already dead. Or something, I don't know. But oh my god, I went through that so easily. Usually that gives me a lot of trouble, so I'm glad I just could plow through. That being said, the rest of the dungeon is not easy by any means, especially on Legendary. There are so many enemies. It just feels like you're constantly being ganged up on. And it just takes like one of them to break off and not be distracted to just kill you really easily. There's the novice guy. I don't know why the hell he was down here. Unless he's supposed to be part of the bodies. But here we got more conjurers dealing with some draugers. So I hope this goes well. I really have no idea how it's gonna end up. There's another adept. Don't look at me. You're gonna regret that. Did I get him? Nope. How about you? Yeah, I got you, didn't I? Ooh, and another insta-kill. Watch out, I don't want to paralyze you. Oh, fuck off, Draugr. Where's my Atronach? I need my Atronach right now. And I'm running out of magic. Let's get Unrelenting Force. I really wish I had the full thing, but you don't get it until the end. I'd just be knocking these guys around. Let's see if I could deal a little damage to them. The one thing is, my Atronach and my follower keep getting in the way. That's the only thing that makes it a little difficult. I don't want to hit them. Although I won't do much damage to them, it's still better to just, you know, not be a jerk. Uh, that really does nothing. What the hell was the second word of that supposed to teach you? For every other shout you do, the second word always seems to be such an improvement. Except for that one. It almost feels useless. Alright. He's dead. Let's see what's next. Dead. Just gonna loot along the way so I don't miss anything. What do we got over here? Not enough magic. Hopefully an insta-kill. No, but they're taking plenty of damage to go down anyway. There we go. And paralyzed. Hopefully this is the last one. I think it is. Alright, so that wasn't bad at all. I was worried for no reason. Again, in playtesting, it just went terribly. And I was having a miserable time, and it took me hours to try to get through this. But I guess with all that practice, some good came out of it. 
because now I'm able to kind of do it a little easier and have kind of a uh, strategy going into it. No soul gem in there. And a bunch of urns. A little tedious to check them all, but I like to, so we're gonna check them all. Except for the empty ones, but I keep checking them because, you know, I'm just always so click happy. I always forget to check the broken ones, but they always have stuff in them. You gotta remember that. And I think this is where you come out of later on. Once you're done with it. I'm not sure if it's this one or the other room, but I know it's one of them. Again, same style room. And a pot. Can't forget the pot. But just a lot of urns, but it's kind of dark. Getting a good amount of coin and jewelry from it. So that's good. Empty. Some stuff. Four coins. Nothing in that one. This would have been a really good dungeon to go through. Yeah, I'll read that book. This would have been a really good dungeon to go through after completing the Thieves Guild, where you have like a fucking really high chance when you search things to find a random gem. God, that's such a good perk, but so wasted later in the game. Because you absolutely don't need it later in the game. You really need it early game. And to have to progress all the way through the Thieves Guild just to get that. And you're you're set when you're done. You don't need it at all. I don't know. It just feels like a waste. <laughs> so let's pick up all this coin off the table. And look for the secret little chain. I think it's on this side. There we go. Hidden passageway. Of course, it's a dungeon. What'd you expect? So, what was behind door number one? A chest, of course. What else would it be? Conjure a storm at your notch. Not bad, but if we keep leveling, we'll get there on our own. Move it, bitch. Hey, crab. I like how he's always scuttling along and trying to keep up. He's so adorable. Useless, but adorable. Man, that sounds like enemies just popping out. I should replace him later on with someone who can actually benefit my team. But I get such cute style points from him right now, that's all I really care about. Let's level some Conjuration, I think it'll be a good time too. Especially since it's just a Draugr. Are you really using ice or frost magic against a frost atronach? What did you expect? Let's heal this off so I don't die immediately. And the good thing about using soul trap to kind of just level up as well, ow, is that I'm also getting souls and filling soul gems, so I don't have to worry about losing a charge. And if it ever comes to that, I'll have plenty, especially for enchanting daggers. Come on guys, get him! It's just a Draugr. Come on, finish him already. Okay, more levels. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. No, it's cool. I don't want to get involved. You guys just take care of it. That's the only thing is that in these like really narrow areas, when you have so many people, it's really hard to kind of like do anything yourself. It's way over there. Get him! Alright, whatever. And he got him anyway. Ooh, black soul gem. 
I could actually fill that if I keep using Soul Trap. Wait to get rid of him because he's just bodying the doorway. At least that's a good thing about him blocking you instead of a follower is that you can just wait to dismiss him. Alright, deeper into the dungeon we go. Very scenic, very beautiful down there. So, just gonna throw over there to distract and armor up so I don't die. Come on guys, get him. I can't be doing all the work here. Actually, I think I'm doing the least amount of work, but hey. Ooh, 70. That's good. Getting up to 100 is going to be a bit of a bitch. I don't want to just farm or exploit or do anything like that. I don't know. It just wouldn't feel right, and it'd feel like I'm just ruining the pacing of it. Because you want to see a progression. Where the fuck did my Atronach go? Why do you go all the way up here? Or... Yeah, why are you all the way up here? The fuck are you doing? Get back in the action. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it going. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of enemies in this room, ain't there? But it's too leveled. Okay, try again. There we go. And hopefully they're focused on him instead of me. That's the only good thing about silent casting is that they only focus on the Atronach. But when they hear you cast, they just kind of want to focus you instead. 88. Jesus. Alteration is getting really close. I guess I'm using a lot of it though, especially with Ebony Flesh and Paralyze. It's just so easy to paralyze them and kind of get in that loop. Because the best way to fight an enemy is to take away their ability to fight back. And kind of use that to your advantage. Poor guy. You did your best and that's all that mattered. But in the end, it was kind of useless, and you really didn't do anything but slow me down. Alright, so let's just check out these stables, see what we could get. Not really much. Don't really care for it. So I guess there's nothing else to do but to continue on. And let's take the staircase, I think, the right one. Not that way, because it's blocked off, so let's go the other direction. And what's over here? A uh, door, fun. So pull that lever, and I think the other lever is over there by him. So let's get off a few soul traps, a little stagger. And get him to run away somehow. Don't know. I think he ran right over to where the um, lever is that we need to be pulling. 71, not bad. Hey you. Don't know why you're just standing there. At least this one's getting gang banged by my follower and my Atronach. I'm probably going to need to switch out my follower very soon. I think she caps at 30. So I might need to switch over to Lydia, who caps at 50. There's the lever I was talking about. And it's nothing but a little enchanter. And a chest. Some nice potions. Always come in handy. Nice, that's one of them. Or I guess that was both of them. Nothing to really disenchant. So we continue forward. Out of the way, guys. Got my own little crew going on, but 
Boy, do they know how to block doorways. Alright, let's check what's up here. Whole lot of nothing. Alright, let's keep moving then. Are we finally at the sanctuary-ish? Yeah, here we go. This is the one, the place that everyone remembers from doing the main story. It's a very interesting dungeon early on, but once you've done it about 20 times, you know it. And yet, there were still some chests that I just got for the first time that I learned about. And I'm going to be showing you all where to get every chest here. So don't you worry. But first, we got to deal with some skeletons. And there's just a lot of them. But boy, are they fragile. How about you? You want to get off your iron throne? There you go. All your friends are dead, but now you decide to fight. And he hit. A little hard. Just don't want to risk it. So let's see what we got over here. Pretty standard stuff. Got hit again. Or didn't heal it off, I'm not sure. Wasn't really paying attention too much. Alright. So that was the king. King shit. Didn't do anything. The only thing with skeletons is that their bones scatter everywhere, so I really don't know who I've searched and who I haven't. And I knocked that potion down. Or it's always down. I don't know, I used Unrelenting Force, so who can say? Okay. And those burners are just going to be constantly going off because of the dead bodies. That's none of my concern. Treasure chest. That was a pretty good scroll. Mass Paralyze. That could h come in handy in a pinch, although we are going to be getting Alteration to 100. Don't know if I'll be investing in the perk points, though. If you sneak up on them, it could come in handy. But I'm not going to be doing a lot of sneaking. It is fun to use in a town, though. Alright, so let's put on Whirlwind Sprint, and we're actually going to go back up. And climb this little ledge back here. And do a hop, skip, and a jump right there. And jump on here. And we can just jump across this, but we're going to need the whirlwind sprint to get across here. Wait an hour. And do it again. Alright. This is that secret chest that a lot of people can see into, but never get across to. Everyone always forgets to jump across up top. It's pretty cool. I like it. And now we make our way down, even though we don't need to, but there's a lot of loot, so why skip it? And here we have a word wall. And one of the better shouts in the game become uh, ethereal, I believe. Yep, fade, the first word. It comes in handy. And behind this waterfall over here, there's going to be a Draugr popping out of that coffin. And a little treasure chest he's guarding. Whoops, paralyzed. Yeah. I worry when there's two hands because usually... Oh, nice, I got the insta-kill. You know, everyone was always saying that the insta-kill prop, it wasn't going to pop up that much. Like, it's not that much of a godsend. For as much as I'm playing, I see it quite often. Maybe I'm just getting really lucky or something, but hey, I'll take it, right? So I think there's just a few veins back here that you can mine. And I have a pickaxe on me at all times. So let's just pick up what we can. Nothing special, nothing going to be too useful. I'm really not going to be using armor, but I'd rather get it to sell. And I think you need it for an achievement to mine, cook, and chop wood. So I should probably just chop wood once just to get that to prop. Another chest over here. Can't forget. And then jump down here, I think... Well, a dead body that fell. Poor guy. Uh, let's torch it, because I think there's a silver ore vein somewhere here. I'm not sure. There's one. Yep, silver ore. I knew it was silver. 
If I remember one thing from this, is that there was silver. Don't know why, it's just what I remember. No gem for us. Alright, and I think that does it for down here. Besides this last body that fell. Anything else? That looks like it's it. So let's make our way back up. And off to our little puzzle. When I first played through this, this puzzle took me a little bit of time to get through. I didn't know really how to go about it. But I figured it out fairly quickly. It's not that difficult and you'll see it coming up. Just gonna cross this bridge right here. I wish I had a dragon soul for becoming ethereal, especially on legendary difficulty. That way if I'm ever in a pinch, I don't have to worry about anything. Let's get that Atronach up there if I can. Can't. Okay. I think there's two skeletons over here. I know I have a level up available. I don't know where I'd put the point. There's one. Hey sir. Is that it? Just one? Alright. Not bad. I always thought there was two up here. Let's just teal that off. Yep. Let's use that. Because I had some extra dragon souls lying around that I forgot about. And we run through those three and then we're over in sprint. And it gets you enough momentum to get across. Oof. So I'm just gonna quick save here. I think it's a good spot to quick save. Just because there's spiders. It's at the end of the dungeon, but I don't really just want to risk it. Just because if I die, it'll set me pretty far back, so that's like a good medium point or midpoint. You know, Frost Atronach is probably not going to be the best right now. I think a Flame Atronach would help more, because I think either she's immune or resistant to the fire. And yet, they didn't hear anything. Let's see if I can get a fireball. And that still doesn't get their attention, really. I'm not doing enough damage to just kind of pick at him. Oh, there's his attention. We got it. Alright. Let's see if any come close. Let's try to paralyze him on the fire. No? I thought putting his body on the fire would kind of get it to still go off. And why is no one else attacking him? Lava Girl should at least be doing something. Is that a swing I heard? Oh, no, you just wanted the finisher, you son of a bitch. Whatever. You served your purpose, that's all I could ask for. Is there another one? There's the big fuck up top, I know that. Is there another little one, though? Hey, you. I see you hiding. I've never actually seen them on the wall. Usually they're just floating like that, very oddly. Down you go. Ow. Poisoned and on fire is not ideal. And there's two red dots over there, but they're stuck in like a weird webbing. So that's nothing to really worry about. Is it just this big one, or is there another little one around the corner that I can't see? Nope. Too soon. Let's try that again. There we go. Alteration to 89. Jeez. Let's get that magic back. And get on over here. Hoping for another insta-kill. Don't know what I can really hope for. I thought I got it there for a second. I guess not. Whoop, and unparalyzed. That's why our alteration's at 90, so we could just keep doing this. And can we get the soul trap? Nope. Oh well. Alright. I think that was the last enemy in the dungeon. So we really don't have anything to worry about. Now we can go get the horn. Although I still hear scuttling. Don't know what that's about. Search the egg sacks. Don't know what's going on. Let's break through the webbing and just keep moving forward. I still hear it. Alright, and here we are. A truly cinematic moment. No, you do not. 
They really should have done something like this for more dungeons and kind of make everyone unique in their same way. But most dungeons in this game kind of have like the same feel to them. Which is unfortunate. Here's a note. Hey sucker, got here before you, haha. -ha. Oh well. So now we have to go pay someone a visit and break some kneecaps. Tell them, hey, don't take from the Dragonborn. You're right, and I think there's a chest right through the door, but not before we search our good urns. Because we want every last coin, because we're greedy that way. So pick those up, grab those, and that. And there's a whole bunch of gold on the floor, but I'm not going to worry about that until I search through all these, even the empty ones, just because. Alright, now that that's done, let's pick up all that. And in the boss chest, what do we got? A mace, not the best. And a spell tomb that I already know. So let's make our way to the exit. Alright, and let's see where this brings us back to. I'm close to level 30 already. It's pretty good for where I'm at. At least I think. Alright. Pull the lever, Kronk. Yep, and here we are back in the urn room from before. Just like I thought we'd be. And let's get out of this godforsaken dungeon. Because I'm tired of being in here. Although we are making pretty good timing for this. At least in my opinion, I think so. Could be longer for you, who knows. Alright, so let's go pay that thief a visit. Over in Riverwood. My cousin's out fighting dragons. And what do I get? Guard. No one cares about your cousin. Hey, Popo. Alright, for the attic room. You're that visitor been poking Hey girl, attic, attic room me. Okay. Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. What do you mean I've been poking around? How dare you? I haven't done anything. Right, come on, squad. We don't get a lot of travelers hey, girl. Here in Riverwood. What? You're in the room. Is the crab really blocking you from progressing? Come on. The war keeps Just take a step away. forward. That's all you have to do. So you're the come on, you stupid crab. So much about. There we go. Finally. We need to talk. I was. Not yet, girl. I'll be back for you later. Alright, back to the Greybeards to learn the final word of power. Hey guys, I got the stupid horn. God knows what you're going to use it for. They're still in the courtyard in the back. Really wish I could have just fast traveled there instead of here then. Put me through two doors for absolutely no reason. Hey sir, take this. Well done. You I did. Passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Have you not already? What do you mean, formally? They're just gonna yell at me, but I don't get how that's any formal than what they've already done. And they knew I was Dragonborn, so what did doing a little fetch quest for them do anyway? It's just a bunch of bullshit, if you ask me. You 
And how the fuck did you get over there so quickly? Oh no, he's back there. I don't know why I didn't see him when he was in there. Oh yeah, it is. Trust me, I know. This shout. Anytime we're on a mountain, that's all we're gonna be using. Alright, give me your soul. Achievement. Stand between us, prepare yourself. Yep, give me a taste of that voice. You, can withstand the unbridled voice of the you hear that? You see that? I'm awesome. You just stand over the air. This is Dragonborn only stuff. And you could just hear my mud crab chirping away during all this. Not a care in the world. Little out of sync, guys. You might need some more practice. Wish I could say the same for my follower. Probably gone death now. Oh well, she's almost of no use to us. Alright, and I'm gonna call it. And I have no face. But thank you for tuning into this episode. Remember to check back in for episode 13. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. And be sure to check out my other playlist. I hope to see you again in the future. Thank you.